good evening, good evening. You join us here in Dundee tonight, in Dundee again, and uh, meeting Jag, and we're going to try and get some nighttime photography. And also, we're going to maybe ride on the big wheel, folks. So uh, let's see what happens. Hello. There is. Scared. Really scared. There we are in the ticket queue. Hello, next up. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, it's moving. And folks, as you can see, we are on the Dundee Big Wheel. Yeah, it's good to get Jack has on tonight. We'll have bugs. Very, and we're going to go up to the top. Then we'll go around about three times, so... Uh, I thought it was just once. <laughs> around, I believe it was three times. Going. Then it goes double speed backwards and then oh, upside moving, down. Oh, it's moving. Wow, we're high, man. Right, so there's the uh, train station over there, folks. Yes. I'm shaking again. Shaking, shaking. Right, the Lower Hill is up there. The Lower Hill, yes, the Lower there, hill is up there somewhere. There's Cape Hall. People screaming down below. What's that building there with all the lights on there? Just, just sort of above the That's the DC Thompson building, isn't it? Oh, is it? Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. What's the one with the red lights on? That's. Um, That'll be. I'm sitting on the big wheel. Oh, we're off again. We're off. We're moving. Oh. There's a view of the um, Slessor Gardens over there, folks, the fountains. That's where the big whale's going to go shortly. Yeah. Big whale sculpture. Guy, sculpture looks awesome, I think. <laughs> yeah, good. Right there, folks, off the uh, V&A. And then over there, you can see the um, Discovery all lit up. We'll go past there just shortly. There we go. Discovery. Right, we're still here, folks. It's now 10 o'clock at night. We're stuck. We can't go off. <laughs> We've got sleeping bags. Just, just kept on going. We've got sleeping bags provided. We should do a marathon. Yeah, <laughs> a marathon session. That's it, folks. There we go. Yeah, we're going to have a nighttime wow, stroll. This is amazing. Yeah, yes, nighttime Dundee stroll. It's, uh, I know. Ever. I know. <laughs> yes, folks. We're the same soul. Um, we're going to go and get a kebab, I think, from oh, this yes. German Donner kebab yeah, place. Definitely. And um, then yeah. go and see some of the more the lights. Yep. This pink lights here. Dundee strolling at night. Yeah, we're currently yeah. sitting in, what's this place called again? Oh, German kebab shop. The German oh. Donner kebab. German, German Donner kebab. kebab. German Donner kebab. Still waiting for So if I'm not impressed with the service, it's very dirty. It's, um, the tables are filthy. Yep. The serving area is filthy. So, yes, and we are still waiting on our food, but hang on, yes. it's mm -hmm. right. It's Dundee at night, folks, it's a yeah. scary place. There we go. Right, so we're still here in Dundee, we've just finished, we are, our, yes. just finished our kebab now. You'll see the scores Very and, the, nice indeed. and the marks on Jack's channel, so I'll not tell you what they're going to be. Uh -huh. Okay. So you have to tune into Jack's channel especially to find out. All oh, right, thanks for that, bro. Okay. It's most enjoyable, folks, most enjoyable meal. Yeah, it was. Now, the nightlife in Dundee is it's a bit crazy, isn't it? It's a bit scary. There's lots of... Um, people shout at you and say, are you vlogging? And strange people out tonight. Yeah, very, very unusual. It's young, young people, folks. <laughs> I, I know, I thought it'd be like... It's just because we feel deserted. old now, I know. Maybe that's what it is, bro. Maybe we just... I mean, there's a baby, look, for God's sake. There's a baby on the list, look, there's a baby. <laughs> to the Dundee Beach, still to be completed folks, but this is yes. the uh, good. Dundee Beach by night. There's a big moon up there, if you can see it. Yeah. The moonlight over the Tay, look at that, beautiful. Space! <laughs> <laughs> right folks, so here we have the uh, V&A, and this is the uh, Discovery. By night. That's good, we've got the bus. Today setting off the uh, golf challenge. Martin Stewart, Larry. There he is, limbering up. There he is. He needs it. 
He needs it. Oh, oh. <laughs> and there's the old uh, churchyard. And there we've got Stone Haven in the background. And the dreaded gullies over there somewhere. So let's see how it goes. Right, here we are. We're waiting. We're waiting for the 11.20. So it's a kick off, face off, tee off, what do you call it these days? Drive, drive off. And the first one is way down that, uh, down there, folks. Say cheese, son. Cheese. Look at this gully we've got up here across. This is only the second hole. There's a gully involved. So there we are at the second. I'll say that again, at the second. And it's Willie's fault. It's nothing to do with Willie, but that's the name of the hole. And Stu has got this par three to face. Is he happy? He's over, he's over. It's nowhere near, but he's over. Panic was setting in. It was setting in, but he's okay. And uh, I'll hand you now back to oh, my co commentator, Sure, Bay. Thank you. He's facing an injury. Just had a golf bag injury there. Always oh, joining me. Squint. Is this the one? Is this it? <sighs> Goes for it. I think he's got it. Good shot as well. Yes, son. Well done. What a shot. What a shot. <sighs> you need to add some, add some crowd to that there. <laughs> he's got a good connection. Get in, he's over. Is he? Is he? Is he? I don't think he. Is. I don't think he is. But but for the sake of this, we'll say we'll say it's it's on the green. I just want to put this on record. I got a par. Yes, a par at this. I know at this gully hole. I got a par. Yes. Oh, looks good. Oh, it's oh dear! Look, the hole is there, everybody. The hole is just there. Just to remind you all, the hole is there. Who is lying there? Okay, oh, there. there he gone. Is. I have taken 34. 34 shots, would you believe it? Oh no, sorry, miscalculation, sorry. Oh, sorry, 62. Oh, for the first four uh, sorry, so that's 62. <laughs> 62 for nine, folks. Why do I play golf? Why? Why do I continue to put myself through this punishment year after year after year? And we've got to climb mountains now. Look, these holes behind us. Look at them. Because Laurie makes them! <laughs> what are you on, son? <laughs> Um, on 40, uh, yeah, 47. Oh, I'm not that far. Well, oh, yeah. yeah 50 no, it's by. all a so it's all up. Okay, no. that's it. Go on, Stu. Hey, moms. <laughs> 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 that's a great shot. Here he goes. Part three. And that's. I don't know. This is Scatty Brew. With another view, Scatty Brew with a view. Look at that man, look at that view. Good players go for the whole year, son, but yeah, they're not good. No, not good. Let me go back to Larry. Good golfers go for the hole, he says. Oh, oh sorry, did oh, I talk I put you off? That, right, here we have my ball. Just here. And I need to get it over there. Another height. Uh, allegedly a special hole for a certain golfer. Now they have changed it. It used to be the eight, and that eight was there, which made it look like bridges. But it's now the fifteen. It's now, but it's still, still very. You know, just like like it was yesterday. Really, <laughs> and how long ago yeah. was it? Ten years. Like about ten years. Ten ago, years ago. It makes me feel emotional. Yes, folks. Yeah. The ridges hole where Larry got a hole in one when it used to be the eight. Yeah. So it's all to play for on the 18th hole. Yes, we're done the 18th already. The mini challenge means I've got to win this last hole Eerily. to win a pint. But overall, Jace is once again miles ahead of the uh, he's played he's played 80, I've played 90. Come on. I'll, put, I'll put my mask on. I'll even send it to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Do our first pint.
The perfect angle. This is the perfect driving angle. Good morning, folks. Where's Good the, morning. Perfect filming angle for driving. Yes, hello, everybody. How are you? Things I seem to film things and would never upload them. So let's see if this goes up on YouTube. It's sheer laziness, bro. That's what it's no, it's just because it's crap. It's crap. Um, it's not crap. What's, what's the word? Um, well, compared to mine, you mean? Well, no, it's just the same stuff as yours. So I thought, well. well it's the, but that's the, that's, the, that's the beauty of it, bro. It's that, different okay. from mine. That's what people like. All right, I shall upload. There's the wheel. Oh, it's a wheel. Oh, it's a wheel. Oh, it's a wheel. There's the wheel. Oh, it's a wheel. There's the wheel. So folks, very exciting that the tail whale oh, that yes. we've been waiting on for years is now coming. It should be here tomorrow. Now, I'll just show you once again where it's going to go. Now, if I put this on the end of my last video, this is where we were here with the lights, the fountains, and the lights, and there's the big oh, wheel, yes. folks, that we were on. This is yeah. in daylight now, and um, this is where the whale's going to go. Where those uh, structures are. There. Stanchions, I think. Stanchions. Stanchions. Support. But there. That's yes. where the whale's going to go from. It's right there. Right there. Right there. Mm. Take a picture. And where is the boat at the minute, bro? It's just past Newcastle at the moment, and it should be here at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Okay. So that's where the whale's going to go, folks. Do, do, do. Right, here's the next tourist attraction coming on, folks. Oh. This is the world famous horn, okay. which has been used in several movies lately, is but it? the most famous thing is the cow on the top. Oh, Let's right. see if we get to you. Well, it's slow just, down for you. Look at the motor There's none. Hold on. So anyway, here's the cow, folks. Now, why is this cow famous? Because it is. Because it's shaped like the world. It's got a map of the world on it. Right, so as you can see, it's a drich Scottish day today. Yes. A very low cloud. <clears throat> it's wet. And it's bizarre, but it's heading into uh, the Perthshire area. We've been driving for six and a half hours. <laughs> Folks, Bro, do you mind to Perth? Yes, just in a second. Come on now. Found some more good mist, folks. Look. <laughs> that's Canoe uh, Hill. <laughs> Your shorts on in the middle of winter. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Colour of them though. Oh, they're luminous, aren't they? Look at slow motion, see what they I know. We have the world's dearest jelly babies, bonbons, two pounds nineteen. I think they cost. Wow, that is expensive. So we'll get stuck into them. See, that's our wee joint to folks. Make the family there for a scone and a coffee. Very nice. Indeed. Mm. Very disappointing. Jelly baby, jelly, yeah, jelly baby, no good. Stuff. Cheap. Well, it wasn't cheap, but I mean, I mean, it tastes cheap. Jelly, jelly bambinas, as you know, are a, a thing that I like, and the best cool. ones. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Still, but low cloud. Very low. Cloud hasn't lifted at all today, folks. It's yeah. hanging, hanging a bit. A big duvet of clouds. It's a duvet yeah. of clouds. A cotton wool duvet scenario of clouds. Yeah. Have folks seen a bird of prey? What is it? Oh, it's a buzzard or something. Oh, it's just a pigeon. A golden eagle. What is it? Well, I think it's, it's a kestrel. There's it's a car be... coming. Look. That's alright, don't worry. You're an outside bird. What is that? It's a sparrow hawk or something, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it's a hawk thing. Hey, mate. Oh, oh there we go. Look at that. Whoa, I think it's a buzzard, actually, bro. I'm going to go. It's Lost it. Right, so oh, we've taken the back road to Kinforns. Well, we're past Kinforns now, I guess. We're, we're heading yeah. on a wee side trip adventure, folks, but can't remember where this road goes. I saw a bird of prey there, I think it was a kestrel. Um, buzzard. Buzzard, sorry. So we're just going to follow this road back to Dundee and see uh, if we can find anything of interest to yeah. show you. You never know. Apart from mist. Uh, 
So welcome to Glen Castle everybody, we've stopped for a wee uh, nosy here. Very noisy, it's right in the motorway so it's a very noisy place to stay. So about Mary's Patch folks, this is Mary's Patch. Who is Mary? I right, think we found the lowest park bench in Britain folks. Looks very low. It's got about a foot, a foot. <laughs> so the handless man of Glen Castle. Who, who, who is the man? Who is he? I thought it was Shakespeare, but I don't know, guys. Yeah, it looks like a Tudor chap. A Tudor chap. Yeah, a Tudor chap. I think it's an antique centre next door here. Let's go have a wee look at this. Coming to this is Kilsmindy, which is twinned with somewhere in France. Flich. 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 In France. Flich. Flich in France. Flich. Now, if we just park here, don't we? The church is just up here. Is it? Right. Right, so welcome to Kilspindy. This is another particular bicker off Dibley Pike Church, folks. And uh, here, allegedly, is where a secret door was found where William Wallace used to enter. So, I'm going to see if it's still here. Right, it's so much excitement, folks. This is the door here that allegedly, this used to be covered in, um, like, just ivy and stuff like that, bushes and things. And when it was cleared up a few years ago, they discovered this door, which I believe William Wallace used to come through to go to the church. Now, I think it was a, a castle or something over there, and there's a path going up to the castle. And uh, this is the door that William Wallace would uh, come through. So there it is, the William Wallace door here at Kilspindy Church. Let's see if we can touch it, folks. I've touched the sacred door. Oh, it's got spiders and cobwebs and everything. I think there's something on the lintel there, something written on it. I don't know if William Wallace was here. Right, so in the spooky graveyard, folks, off Hill It's Spindy. on a hill, I know, it's weird, isn't it? It's a water feature. It's actually a gate down there, is it not? Is that a fence? Where? Down the bottom oh, there. part of the fence, I think. Oh, my, no, it's maybe part of a... It's a and, and there's a big tomb. The tomb to Lieutenant General Robert Stewart. I just want to remember, okay, it's just yeah. we're speaking about death, folks. Um, there's, a, there's loads and loads of videos going around of predictions of people okay. saying that the Queen is going to die on the 18th of October and Prince Andrew is going to die on the 20th of October. Prince Andrew? Yeah, so the Queen's going to go on the 18th and Prince Andrew on the 20th. Why, what's this about? I don't know. It's just like loads of predictions going around, so this is what's going to happen. And it's so, really? seemingly it's been, uh, seemingly the Queen's actually now dead already. But uh -huh. they're going to announce it on the 18th. Right, okay. Well, I've not seen it for a while. And the film and the, the pictures that they're using on the news are old pictures at the minute, so... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird, it's a weird thing, folks, so... Right. We'll see if it actually comes true. Okay. All these weird things going around on the internet. Oh, it's very odd. What yes. about our deaths? Anything about us? No. Yeah, 2094. Oh, good, man. I've got loads yes. to go yet, though. Plenty of time yet for more... More spizzing. Plenty more spizzing to come then, folks. Yes. Stay tuned to this channel, because <laughs> this is what happens on this channel. <laughs> We'll be here to 2094. My dad said, we want to thank every one of you for helping make the share what it was. And I mean, we had a phenomenal... When you flick through the channels, folks, and you start watching these American religious channels. But having said that, you know what? The music's been brilliant. I've been up dancing, praising the Lord. <laughs> We've got some ballads now. 